Oh yeah, Columbus, if you're seeing the sight of my face, it's already too late. You're tuned in to the eighth edition already of the Save the Crew vlog. Welcome back, everyone. Vlog. The topic today is three simple ways that you can help save the crew during the holidays. You know, since day one of this movement, people uh, in, here in Columbus, people across the country and people around the world have been asking uh, how they can help save the crew. And I totally get it. You feel helpless and powerless and you feel desperate to do something, to do anything, to help save the crew. And you know, the hardest part of this entire thing since day one has been you know, not really knowing what exactly to tell people uh, or, or not knowing kind of where to point people. In other words, I know exactly how you feel because I feel exactly the same way. Because I really wish that there was a button that we could press that would magically and instantly save the crew. And, and I wish that there was a clear path to doing that. And, and I, I really wish that that MLS and Precourt Sports Ventures, uh, you know, I wish they didn't lie when they said that there would be parallel paths uh, in what is done in Austin and what is done in Columbus. Because if they weren't lying when they said that, there would be a very uh, clear area in which to exercise our voice and to, to stand up and fight this. If they actually did what they said they were going to do, if they didn't lie, this would be a lot easier on all of the people and the members of this community who have been here supporting this team for the past 23 years. So, since we don't know exactly what it's gonna take to save the crew, all we can do is continue to fight like hell in the places that we know that we're making a difference. And with that in mind, and with the holidays upon us, here are three ways that you can help save the crew during the holiday season. Number one, remember that each one of us is the face of this entire Save the Crew movement to those who may not know what it is we're fighting for and what it is we're all about. You don't need to be on TV being interviewed by legends like Dom Tiberi, and you don't need to be on radio shows or podcasts to be the face of this movement. Because you and me and every single person involved, we are all the face of this movement. It's likely that you'll be spending some time in the coming days and the coming weeks with friends and family members who may not have heard uh, what we're all about and what we stand for. They may not have heard what it is that we've been trying to tell them. Now these people are important. They're your audience and they're being held captive by this holiday season exactly the same way that you are. So while you have their attention, tell them why saving the crew matters to you and tell them why saving the crew should matter to them. Tell them that if Don Garber is allowed to do this to Columbus, he and people like him can and will do the same thing to anybody they want to, anywhere, at any time. And hell, if all else fails, lock the doors and don't let anyone leave until they sign the open letter that is now live on SaveTheCrew.com. Number two, it's Crimbus and you're gonna have to buy some presents. Why not patronize some of the Save the Crew business allies that are conveniently listed on our website. And also make sure to check out the Save the Crew shop on our website. Uh, we have new items that are being added all the time and some of the other items that we were selling in the past that have gone out of stock because you crazy bastards ordered them all are now back and in stock, ready to be shipped. So here's what's happened in the first two months of this movement. Uh, the local business sector here in Columbus has been told by Don Garber, and they've been told by Dave Greeley that they don't care about this city and that they don't care about the Columbus crew. By supporting the Save the Crew efforts and by fighting with us, the local businesses in Columbus have proven those statements to be completely and totally false. And all they want to do is to continue to fight this battle and to continue to support the Columbus crew in this city, in Columbus, Ohio, 
for years and years and years to come. And you can help them help all of us by going to their shops, going to their stores, going to their websites, and showing them that you are for businesses that are for Columbus, which as it turns out is more than just a catchy marketing hashtag. And finally, number three, everybody knows that there are two simple parts to every Crimbus season. First, you open gifts, then, you eat foods. Now the hours in between those two events are boring and stupid. Everybody agrees with that. I've been keeping my ears to the streets lately and everyone agrees. Everyone's been saying, Morgan, first of all, you smell great and you're great with kids. Second of all, I hate those stupid boring hours on Crimbus be uh, between uh, the gifts and the food. It's like, what? <laughs> What are we doing? I hate this. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't like any of this. I encourage you to use those hours between food and gifts to compose and send emails to MLS ownership and to league sponsors. Email all of them. Email every single last one of them in those hours between food and presents. You're not doing anything anyway. May as well make your voice heard. Tell them that they will straight up lose your business forever if they allow this deceitful move to happen. Tell them that you will spend the rest of your life telling everyone you know to not consume any product that is in any way, shape, or form affiliated with Major League Soccer to any extent. Tell them that you will abandon them in the exact same way that this league is abandoning you. Money is the language that they speak, so use that language and use it as loudly as you can. So to recap, you are going to have some people to talk to, you're gonna have some presents to buy, and you're going to have some time to kill this holiday season. Why not do all those things and save the crew at the same time? And remember that every single one of us is the face of this movement, and it's going to take every single one of us to save this team. Remember to keep it positive, uh, don't engage the social media trolls and no matter how frustrated you feel, do not lash out at the good people of Austin, Texas. They've been put into this situation against their will in the exact same way that we've been put into this situation. Keep it civil, keep it respectful, keep fighting because we're massive and we're nowhere near being done yet. Thank you for watching and save the crew. The future of Columbus and the future of the Columbus Crew SC are tied together. We need each other to succeed.